today we're going to be recreating this easy background spinning effect make sure you guys subscribe as well because i'm going to be uploading every single day for the entire month of may top into it first of all we're going to duplicate our layer here by clicking on it and pressing ctrl d now double clicking on the top layer here we're going to go ahead and rotoscope him i'm assuming most of you guys know how to rotoscope by now all right so he's rotated out it's looking good we're going to turn on our background layer now and on our background layer we're going to go ahead and apply a motion tile once we have this on our background layer we're going to go ahead and change our output width to 300 and our output height to 300 and turn on mirror edges as well you guys will see if we play with the scale here it's just replicating those areas let's say for when we get to right here we're going to open up our transform and we're going to go over to our rotation and keyframe that right there and we're going to go to here and we're going to make our rotation go one lap so it's going to spin just like so now the trick to making this look good if we play it through doesn't look that clean. The trick is if we click on our keyframe here, click on our graph editor, we can then click on this. We can then create certain curves for our graph editor. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that pretty steep there. And then clicking on this one and clicking this one, we're gonna make a good S curve as best as we can. It's a lot smoother of a transition as you guys could see there. All right, now once we have our spin in here, we're gonna add some motion blur to it by going to our layer and clicking on motion blur right here. And if you do wanna change your motion blur settings, go up to composition, go to composition settings, go to advanced, and you'll have your shutter angle right here. So if you want it to be less intense change your shutter angle down do whatever you think looks good to you now we have that spinning effect transition there looking super clean we can make it a little bit better here if we go onto our layer we're going to add a little bit of flicker now what we're going to do as well is playing with our good old friend boom shake sauce here kind of out of nowhere let's go ahead and create an adjustment layer and you guys can see with shake sauce, you can really just get those unique shakes just by double clicking. Mess around with them to your liking. If you guys are a fan of this effect, I recommend checking out the Motion Warp preset pack. Inside of the preset pack, we have a ton of different transitions where you guys can create crazy effects just by dragging and dropping. So for example, if we just take everything that we had off, all we have to do is go into the background layer here and drag and drop one of these Motion Warp preset packs on here. I'm gonna go with Spiral. So if we drag and drop and put it on there just like that, you guys can get a crazy look just like this in two seconds without doing any of the work. And just to show you guys another one here one of my favorites do a barrel roll right here if we drag and drop this on here as well and same as before all we're doing is dragging and dropping and playing it through and we have a crazy effect just like this so if you guys are looking to save time on your edits and really step them up with these kind of effects i highly recommend checking out this pack it'll be linked in the description below if you guys do want to go check it out there are a ton of presets inside of here that will really save you time like i said earlier i'm going to be uploading a tutorial every single day for the month of may so make sure you guys hit subscribe see you guys in the next one peace